George Stevenson is considered by many to be the father of the railways. He built the first steam locomotive, the first intercity public railway and the first locomotive to use a multi-tubular boiler. He was born in Wylam, Northumberland in 1781, the son of a fireman. He was illiterate until the age of 17, when he began to learn to read and write. He worked as a colliery engine wright and then as a brakesman before moving to Killingworth to work as an engineman. It was while working at Killingworth that Stevenson began to experiment with steam locomotives. Back then, steam engines based on designs by Thomas Newcomen and James Watt were large, above-ground devices used for pumping floodwater out of the mines. Stevenson not only improved on those devices but went on to build a self-moving steam locomotive, which pulled coal-loaded wagons along a metal track. In 1814, he finished his first locomotive, which he named Blutcher after the Prussian general who along with Arthur Wellesley had defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Encouraged by his success, Stevenson began to build more locomotives. In 1825, he built the locomotion for the Stockton and Darlington Railway, which was the first public railway in the world. The locomotive was used to haul coal from the mines to the port of Stockton on Tees. George and his equally talented son, Robert, then designed and built the Liverpool and Manchester Railway in 1829. In the same year, Stevenson finished building the Rocket, which was the first steam locomotive to use a multi-tubular boiler. The Rocket won the Rainhill Trials in 1829, running at an incredible speed of 36 miles per hour, and was subsequently used on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, the first intercity railway, which opened in 1830. The success of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway led to the construction of other railways in Britain and abroad, and Stevenson's reputation as the leading railway engineer of his time was firmly established. He went on to build a number of other notable railways, including the London and Birmingham Railway and the Great Western Railway. He and his son, Robert, became joint managers of the newly formed London and North Western Railway in 1841. George Stevenson also developed the first railway bridge and is credited with developing the first railway timetable. George Stevenson was also a prolific inventor, and his many contributions helped with the invention of the steamboat, the telegraph, and the locomotive wheel. He was knighted in 1829 and made a baronet in 1848. In his later years, Stevenson continued experimenting with railway engineering and helped with measures to ensure coal miners' safety, in addition to his own pastime which was cross-breeding of farm animals. George Stevenson died on August 12, 1848, at his home in Chesterfield, Derbyshire. That's it for today. If you liked this episode, hit the like button and share the episode with friends and family who might like this type of content. Subscribe to the channel, and if you feel like it, leave a comment or an opinion. Thank you, and catch you on the next one. Goodbye.